Hello and welcome to this new lesson. Today I'll show you how to define your board shape. So if you made any changes, go to project compile and make sure that your project is compiled. As you can see, this is our board that has all the elements. We need to define a new board shape with the very same size as of the nano board. You can search Google for the nano board size and get the dimensions in inches or millimeters. After that, you must head here to this area and right click then place line. You can simply start drawing a vertical line then a horizontal line. Okay, let's complete this. Now we have two lines. Click on the first line, which is the vertical one, but let me complete the shape. We can copy and paste these two lines, but I prefer completing this shape by drawing the rest of the lines. So place, line, start here, end here. So that's it. Now let's start by defining each of these lines. We want 6 mil for the width and this one which is the vertical line we want it to be to start at 0 and on the y direction we want it to be 100, uh, 1700 mil ok let me repeat this 1700 mil now for this line Let's move it up here, double click on it, 6 mil, uh, 1000, okay, 700, okay, mil. Let's see, this is the original name, press enter, just to change this with another zero. Now, okay, sorry, we are not talking about this line. Now that we have these two lines aligned, let's go to this one, six milli, and as you can see, this is the width of the board, which is 730. Same goes for the one on the bottom. 6 milli. Here, 730. So, let's go back here. And move this line to meet with this line. Now we can zoom in. To check if we have any problem and make sure that all the numbers are written correctly let's see this one six mil okay we don't want these zeros okay let's go down here 730 so now we have our board shape so if there is anything like this you need to make sure that it's removed okay let's move this Okay, we have a little problem. Let's go back here. And see 
this as you can see here needs to be moved okay now we have this one we need it to be six mil and this one must be One thousand seven hundred. Okay. Now that we have our board shape defined, you just need to select all of these lines like that. They are now in white color. After that, simply go to design board shape, as you can see. Then select define from selected object. Define from selected object, as you can see. Now this is our board shape, this is the green board which is our board shape and these are our components. Next what we will do is adding this component to, the, to this board so that we can start routing items. I know that this lesson was a little bit long but it, did, it served its purpose. Thanks for watching. If you have any question please ask in the Q&A board. This is Educational Engineering Team.